back in 1964, I felt that it was a most interesting challenge to be asked to uh, produce a 40 foot long banana. And uh, it was a most interesting uh, requirement to work out how one could achieve such a problem at a minimum cost. An American named uh, John Landy brought up the idea and uh, suggested that a big banana at his plantation in Coffs Harbour would be most effective. I had to agree with him, and then the problem was, uh, how do you actually design a big banana? Not being a great artist, I had to seek the best banana that I could to copy. And after quite a search, we came up with what we felt was the ideal that every banana grower would desire. And uh, I took it back to the office and with the aid of my secretary, uh, we sliced that banana up and in a sections a quarter of an inch long, which meant that we had uh, approximately 40 of these slices. We then laid the cross sections onto squared paper, a quarter inch squares, and then enlarged the cross sections six times in order to develop our plans from which the builder worked to construct the large banana. When we got permission to go ahead with the big banana, we had a, a quick, a very, had to be very quick to get it ready by Christmas. We wanted it open by Christmas 1964. So we started building in, uh, in September, October, and we went like anything. There was John and myself and this builder called Alan Harvey, and the three of us worked daylight till dark to get the thing done, and we opened it actually on December the 22nd, it was finished. The response from the public was actually fantastic. As from Boxing Day onwards, the people just came in, in hordes. The car park wasn't big enough, the shop wasn't big enough, and we didn't have enough people working in the shop. And uh, it, was, it was so exciting, and uh, you know, we just couldn't believe the response. Over the years, of course, we've had many famous visitors come here, often that we didn't even know they were here. But in 1970, when the Queen and the royal family were in Coffs Harbour, they were our most famous people that came through. And they actually drove right past here along the highway. They stopped, almost stopped, just at the front there. The, the Duke of Edinburgh in particular was very taken with the whole thing. He had a big grin on his face and the Queen and Princess Anne. And then they took off. It was only very brief. They hardly even stopped. If they had have stopped and come in, of course, we probably then could have said the big banana is by appointment. <laughs> <laughs>